Faber test, flexion, abduction, external rotation, is also a test reported to be for hip instability slash micro instability. You're probably all familiar with it. You've seen it before. You take the client's leg to be tested up into flexion, abduction, and external rotation. Stabilize the contralateral pelvis so the pelvis doesn't rotate and that you isolate the motion to the anterior hip. And if that doesn't hurt, you can do overpressure. A positive test is reproduction of concordant signs and or symptoms, pain, giving way, and anterior hip pain typically. One thing to watch for, so you typically try to put the lateral malleolus above the knee on the contralateral side. If you do not stabilize the pelvis, the leg will drop more significantly. And then if you stabilize, it will prevent the motion from dropping even more. It's probably better to stabilize so that you prevent the pelvis from rotating and that you get a more accurate measurement and stress to the anterior capsule. Top-down view showing again the stabilization, dropping a leg, and then again a positive test would be concordant symptoms. If you don't stabilize, the leg just drops. So the theory is that the stress to the anterior hip created by a fulcrum from the abduction and external rotation stresses the anterior hip and capsule and psoas therefore recreating the concordant symptoms. That's the test. That's the theory behind it. Here's the diagnostic metrics. In brief, it is a moderate shift in post-test probability with the positive test because the like positive likelihood ratio is 5.4. A small shift in post-test probability with a negative test because of 0 0.5 negative likelihood ratio. So even despite the 40% improvement in post-test probability, the positive likelihood ratio of 5.4 dictates the magnitude of shift. If you look at it from the standpoint of the 2x2 two two table, again, trying to avoid the quadrant of doom, the test for a, a negative test is in one lower quality study is in the, the low magnitude, high precision quadrant of caution. And the positive test is actually in the high magnitude, high precision quadrant, but again, one lower quality study. So the Faber test is better at helping to rule in hip instability slash micro instability than it is to help rule out. I hope this was helpful. Take care.